One day after the Magnifico Christmas party, Francesco and his family including his girlfriend aborted a train to Switzerland. Francesco, we're on the train to Switzerland. So just sit back, relax and enjoy our trip. Dad, how many times have we been there? A lot of times. You see, when I went there for the first time, I could bear the cold for just a bit. But don't worry, we're lucky that we have winter clothing to keep our body nice and warm. Do you have your camera with you? Yes, I have one. Excellent. Let's watch the scenery or maybe you can just sleep. Alright, I'll just watch the scenery. And by the way, I'll just take a photo of this scenery. He took a photo of the scenery that he imagined. After a few hours, they finally made it to Switzerland by train. Alright, Francesco. We're here in Switzerland, because it's Christmas time here. We can experience snow, going on ski resorts, rock across the Alps, and more. There are more excitements here in Switzerland. Also, there will be a Christmas midnight mass at a church in Geneva and we will go see fireworks near Lake Geneva during New Year's celebration. But, what about the Christmas tree lighting? It has already been passed. We already lit the Christmas tree back in Naples a few days ago. So anyways, let's keep moving. Where are we going? Francesco, all of us are going to Aunt Diana's house in Geneva. It's just near the University of Geneva. My sister and I studied here since I was a teenager. Ooh, what a fascinating story. Francesco, her girlfriend, and his family walked until they stopped at last to Aunt Diana's house. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll answer it. Hello, Francesco. Hello, Diana. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to Switzerland, Francesco. You can stay here until New Year's Day like what your dad said. Francesco, I want you to meet my twin children. Their names are, Marco and Mario. Say hi to him. Hi, my name is Francesco. Hi, my name is Mario. Do you want to come to our room? I've got a PlayStation 2 and my Xbox 360. Really? Yes! I like that. I haven't tried any recent video game consoles in my life. You must remove your winter outfit and come to my room. Francesco took off his winter outfit and followed Mario to his room. At Marco and Mario's bedroom, Mario met his twin brother, Marco. Francesco, allow me to introduce my twin brother. His name is Marco, say hi to him. Hi, Marco. Hi, Francesco. Wanna play Final Fantasy XI? Yes, let's play. Francesco and his twin cousin, Marco played Final Fantasy XI all day until when Rodolfo arrived, he bought all of them surprises. There, all set. I will tell all of them to come to the kitchen. Francesco and Marco, come to the kitchen fast. I want to show you something. What is it, Uncle Rodolfo? We'll see. Rodolfo followed Francesco and Marco to the kitchen to see what surprise they got. Ta-da! We have Belgian chocolates and a few PlayStation 2 games for each and every one of you. I want all of you to share. Are the Belgian chocolates for Marco and Mario? No. They're not only for Marco and Mario. It's for all of us to share. But the few PlayStation 2 games are also for Marco and Mario. So get ready for dinner. Because tomorrow. We are going to a ski resort in Champex Lac, that means, we're going to have an exciting Christmas winter wonderland together. Don't worry, it'll be fun. Okay, Uncle Rodolfo. Uncle Rodolfo sat down at the dining table while Francesco called his family to come here to have dinner. Hi, Dad. Hey, Mario. Where's your twin brother? He's at the dining table sitting next to Francesco. That's good, Mario. Now time to eat. All right, everyone. Let's dig in before the food gets cold. Uncle Rodolfo ate with his family including Francesco, his girlfriend and his family. After dinner, Marco and Mario were getting ready for bed. Hey, Mario. What are you doing? We're just packing for our things for tomorrow. Did you notice it? Yes, I did. Anyways, let's get some sleep. By tomorrow, we'll be going. Okay. Good night, Marco. Good night, Mario.
Francesco, are you ready to go? Yes, I am ready. But, where are they? Don't worry. They'll be here. If anybody's here, then we can all go. Diana Quintagnoni, Francesco's aunt announced to Francesco and his family including her twin sons and her husband that they could go to Champex Lac so they could enjoy the Christmas Winter Wonderland. Is anyone of you ready? If anyone is ready, then we'll be going. They went outside the house and walked to the train station all the way to Champex Lac. At Champex Lac, they went straight to the ski resort. Francesco, this is Champex Lac. We are here to stay for just four days and three nights. Yes! I love that. All right, everyone. This is Champex Lac Ski Resort. This is the place where we can go skiing, snowboarding, sling, cable car riding, etc. Also, this place can be very fun for all ages. Let's make this a Christmas winter wonderland for all of us. Yes! That sounds amazing! Let's have fun together, shall we? Yes! Francesco and his family had fun skiing, snowboarding, and sling, hoping that one day would be the best Christmas winter wonderland ever. One night, as they got checked in, they rented their separate rooms. With Francesco and his family, Francesco could give a privacy for his parents to sleep. Okay, Francesco. This is the room where me, you and your mom will be sleeping in. And where's my girlfriend? Don't worry, your girlfriend is with Aunt Diana. <sighs> Let me take off my coat and sleep. Don't disturb me and your mom. You can stay up only up to 10 p.m. A few minutes later, Francesco decided to sleep. <sighs> well, it's time for me to sleep. The next morning, they woke up and went skiing again. Yaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
and we've got some breaking news. In a ski resort in Switzerland, Michel Messosalma has been defeated by one of Naples' most wanted photographer, Francesco Quintagnoni. Michel Messosalma was once again being deported back to Italy as an illegal immigrant and must be imprisoned again. Welcome back, Michel Messosalma. You'll forever stay here. Good night and a very miserable Christmas to you. And of course, Santa will give you nothing but a sack of coal for Christmas. G-R-R-R-R-R-R. It's not fair! I hate you! On Christmas Day in Switzerland, Francesco and his family including Aunt Diana and her family were ready to unwrap the gifts that Santa brought. Okay, Francesco. What did you get for Christmas? For me? I'll see. Yes! I got a lapis lazuli Rolex. Thank you, Santa for that gift. And here is another gift from my friend, Angela Bernoulli. She's from the USA. Open it up and see what's inside. Yes! I got a wireless internet Nokia tablet. It can be used for browsing websites on the internet, picking jobs, games, etc. Wait! I forgot my gifts. Let me see. I got a notepad for Christmas, so that I can get my job done in my paramedic career. Okay, Marco. What gift did we get? Yes! We got a Nintendo 64 with Super Mario 64 and Kirby 64, the crystal shards in it. Let's play together when we get home. Oh yeah right. I hope we liked our Christmas presents. So Merry Christmas to us all, and let our Christmas spirits be in our hearts together to show love and joy. Six days later, New Year's Eve had begun. Alright, this is it. Today, we'll be watching the fireworks show tonight. Okay, get ready for the final countdown to 2007. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, 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 yo, 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 yo. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's party together as one big family. Yes, 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 yes. We're finally in 2007. Yes! This is finally it. After New Year's Day, Francesco and his family including his girlfriend went back home to Naples. So, are we having a good time together? Yes, we are. Now, when I get home, I wanted to work a limited time as a photographer. And then 10 days later, I will be retired from working as a photographer. That's okay that if you want to be retired from your job. Yes, Dad. Oh, look at Pot with dozens of hortensias. I'll just take a photo one last time. He took a photo of a Pot with dozens of hortensias, saying that it was the last photo that Francesco took before he could retire his job. He later sold his photographs to other people and he went to the manager's office. Okay, Francesco. Are you ready to retire? Because, you sold enough photographs. Sure. Okay, you are freed from your career at photography. Francesco, I just got a call from the manager and he said that you are freed from your photography career. I'm so proud of you, because you sold all of the photographs online and to the Neapolitans. You are allowed to pick another job. Yes! Thank you, Dad. 